Welcome to Nifty Notions from So Very Easy. My name is Laura and today's Nifty Notion is the very simple safety pin. There are many different sizes and styles of safety pins. Some are definitely better than others for quilting. The first thing that we need to look for is how strong is the pin. There are some pins that are not strong at all and we can bend them very easily. If we can bend them, they're going to bend as we take it through the fabric and we do not want them to bend as we go through the fabric. So if you can bend them, they're definitely not good for quilting and basting our layers together. We also need to look at how thick this wire is. Because we are putting this through the quilt fabric, we do not want this thick to leave big holes. So the bigger pins are really not good for that quilting. The small pins are a little too small to get into the fabric. And some of them are going to bend just like that big one. And if it's bendable, it just doesn't have that strength to go through. Also, it's very, very small, so it's going to be hard to work with. We have a few different sizes of medium pins. We have just a little bit over one inch on one size. The next size is about an inch and a half. Both of these do work well. The curved ones are definitely preferred over the straight ones. And it's very simply is how easy it's going to be to put it through that fabric. With that straight model, when we go through, it takes a little bit more work to pull that up into the top. But with the curved, that curve automatically is bringing that point right up. So when we go in, that point is automatically going to want to come out. So it is a lot easier to use than the straight style. We can get covers to cover our pins, and these are for that small one inch pin, or we can get them covered for us. In order to use these covers, we need to install them ourselves. We can get a big bag of those clip covers and they are designed for the number one steel curved pins. And if the pins are in the package, you're going to see the size written somewhere on the container. So this is size one to one and one sixteenth. So that was just that little bit over the one inch. And the quilter safety pins are designed for basting the quilts. So they're strong enough to go through those layers and still nice and thin so we're not leaving those big holes. Where the other sizes are not designed for that. To put these covers on, we're going to need a pair of needle nose pliers. What we're wanting is a nice little end to put these together. You want to find a pair of needle nose pliers that fits in those grooves because we will be pushing that needle into this groove. This round part is going to go into the higher end and we need to make sure it's put in correctly. That curved end does not go in. It stays out. The reason is that's where the pin opens up. So that curve up is going in. That little eye is going to go into that top. The little locker is going to fit into here. Close the pin. The first thing we're going to do is put this little end right in that point. Push with your thumb so that eye goes in really secure. You'll probably hear a little to make sure it's in. The rest will then line up. Take the pliers and push that wire into this case. A little push is all you're going to need and you can always give it a second push. If you find this end didn't go in, you can gently click that in. So that entire bottom is now cradled inside of this cover. And this top wire is the wire that's going to open. If you do it backwards, you're not going to be able to open this. So when it's done, we want that curve facing up. Because that end is larger, it is a lot easier to use. It's easier to hold on to. It's easy to control this to go in, and because of that curve, 
is going to come right up. And then we have what I would call the Cadillac of all basting pins. The pins are called Wonder Pins. They are designed to baste our quilts. So the cover is already on for us, so we don't have to add those covers. It has a nice area that we can hold on to. There's also a big curve on it. And this little end is where the cover is. It definitely has a larger opening and a larger space, which makes it really easy to use. It's almost like a little handle. It's going to go in and right up. And we can close it. This wire is very thin, but very strong. So it really does hold tight. It also measures an inch and a quarter. Having that little handle really does make it easy to use. To a very basic safety pin, one that we cover ourselves, or the Rolls Royce of all safety pins, there's a lot more to a safety pin that really meets the eye. I'll put a link in the description. And as always, thank you for joining me today on So Very Easy. Feel free to subscribe and come on back. You just never know what we're going to talk about. Bye for now.